We're out here today trying a different spot, trying to find some fish. The high tides kind of provided a challenge. We haven't caught much fish the last couple of days between the high tides and the depression. I haven't been able to get out because of all the rain. I finally got out here doing some drift fishing with our gulps. See if we can find some trout, redfish, maybe even a black drum or two. The water is crystal clear right now. We can see all the way to the bottom. See every little structure, every little piggy perch attacking your lure. I don't know if that's good or bad. I guess we'll find out. see my lure for 20 yards away since the water's so clear I got me some fluorocarbon on about a foot and a half long section and since we're fishing heavy grass got my weedless set up I don't know how I'm feeling about this area right now not a lot of mullet jumping it's kind of stagnant All we can do is take a drift and see what it's like. See if we can pick up a fish or two. If not, move to the next spot. Fish with my trusty old Shimano today. The mock crush, I can't just cast as far as this one. Got a little bit more distance. That was the new setup at first, but turns out it was a real. Ah, saw the first mullet jump. Hopefully that means we're getting to the good area. So the structure we're fishing right now is just a bunch of grass with potholes intermixed. We relocated, the area didn't look as good out there. Water is way too clear. Here we got a little bit murkier water, which I like. More of a trout green. We'll put on a drum or a, a trout. A little less wind protected here. Just about 1.5 miles an hour. Something just tipped and hit it. And he got my tail. Well, they take your tail, you gotta make a new tail. Just grab and pull. There you go, got a new tail. Quick, easy fix. Still use the gulp. There we go. Oh. He's Power gone. Ball. Ball. So you don't need to tell to catch fish. We're just looking for new fishing spots right now. He's looking for our structure change, depth change, potholes, wind blown areas. Anything that may hold fish. Mullet jumping. Oh, we're just exploring new spots. Spot look good, we'll pull in, drift it. Don't catch a fish, move to the next spot. Very complicated process. This is actually how we found some of our best spots. Just, ah, oh, looks good. We'll try there.
got that on film. I to change the setup a little bit. Something a little different. Got a bait caster here, Abu Garcia. Got to a popping cork with the white gulp shrimp. Got me a little eighth ounce steel weight here, the bobber stop. That way the shrimp will sink faster in the water column. I a good hit on it earlier. Good drum, I think. Went 20 feet to the right in about three seconds. Playing with the release. Never caught anything like this before, but if you're not catching fish, you gotta try something different. Different spot, different setup. Beautiful fish. Just had another good trout hit a second ago. All I'm doing is just reeling a little bit, pop, and reel. I think they're more in the shallower water. We've been fishing five foot deep water and found some about two and a half, three foot trout green water. And have some good hits. We'll be able to pull a couple more out. Can't keep the GoPro rolling all the time. The battery's almost dead. So I'm trying to save it in case we catch a fish. It looks like everybody's having trouble today. Just see boats moving around. See them sit for a little bit, move to the next spot. Sit, move to the next spot. It's one of those days. This is the main reason I never use bait casters. 